Hi everyone, we're doing our picture today to go with Art Dog by Thatcher Hurd. Um, and our drawing today is going to show Dogopolis with um, Art Dog in a brush mobile. The city of Dogopolis is going to be behind it. And then City Rhapsody painting, or Art Dog's painting, is going to be in the background. Okay, so today let's start by um, using our pencil, writing our name and our class code on the back. Okay. Um, so make sure you do that, then turn your paper over, and we're going to be holding our papers today in the hamburger um, direction, sideways, landscape direction, okay? We're going to start with Art Dog and the Brushmobile. So right about here, we're going to draw a line across like this, all the way across our paper, okay? And this is going to be the road. All right, and then let's start our Brushmobile. We're going to draw kind of an eye sort of shape back here. And we're gonna put some little hairs in there because that's gonna be the brush, okay? And then this will be the part of the brush mobile where um, our dog is actually driving, okay? And then let's do the two wheels down here all the way down onto the road, okay? All right, and then we're going to um, draw Art Dog, okay? So Art Dog, we're gonna start right about here, just above the car. We're only gonna draw half of him because the rest of him is gonna be in the car, okay? So let's draw half an oval with a half an oval, or it's gonna look kind of like a backward C. And let's put his nose right here, and his eye right here, and his ear right here. Then let's draw his neck coming down like this. All right, his arm, his shirt, and then um, the steering wheel kind of sticks up just a little bit like this. So we're gonna draw a half circle and his two arms are gonna be coming up like that to drive the car. I'm gonna make his ear just a little bit longer. All right, then, um, remember Art Dog signed his name. He wrote Art Dog right here. So you can either write Art Dog or you can write your own name. I'm gonna write Miss N or Miss Nicoletta, but I'm gonna write N anyway. Um, right there. Okay, so then our brushmobile looks really great. Okay, let's add a little door. The door would be here and there's the little door handle, okay? All right, then um, we're gonna think about five different buildings. You don't have to draw your buildings like mine, um, but I want us to draw five. And we're gonna um, think about our overlap now. Um, our dog is gonna be in the brushmobile both. are gonna be in front of all of our buildings, okay? So um, the buildings are gonna be behind, so we're only gonna see the part that um, we're gonna stop when we get to the brushmobile, okay? So I'm gonna start my first building, I'm gonna come up like this, okay? I'm gonna be thinking about my door for getting into that building. Remember, you don't have to draw the same building I'm drawing, you draw a building that you would like to draw. My building's gonna be mostly windows. So I'm gonna draw some lines coming across this way, and then some nice long lines coming down like this, okay? And then I'm gonna think about my second building, but my second building, um, I want to have a rooftop garden. So I'm gonna make this one um, just a little bit short. You don't have to do this one with a rooftop garden, but think about one that where maybe you might wanna have a rooftop garden. Then I'm gonna think about windows. And remember my windows are only gonna show where the brushmobile isn't, okay? So I'm gonna put triangle windows in this one and I can't add the door because the brushmobile is there, all right? And this is gonna be my building, like I said, for the um, rooftop garden, and my garden's gonna have trees in it. So I'm gonna draw some pine trees by doing some upside down um, mountains, um, and maybe a little Y tree. I'm gonna come out like this, okay? All right, and then maybe just one more tree, um, Maybe a broccoli tree, how would that be? Okay, all right, and then I'm gonna think about my next building. And I think this building might be a clock tower, okay? Um, a rounded top, I want my buildings to look kind of different. Jump over that brush mobile. I'm gonna draw the two doors right down here by the street. And this one um, is gonna have some circle building, windows in it for this building, okay? 
Um, and again, when I get to that brush mobile, I'm gonna stop. And then I said I wanted to put a clock up here. You don't have to. Um, you decide what you want your building to look like, okay? And then um, I know I need five, so I've drawn three, so I want two more left, okay? So I'm gonna come up like this for a big triangle building, and maybe it's got some lines coming across like this a little bit, okay? And I can't draw um, a door in this one either because my brush mobile is there, okay? And maybe um, this one will have some windows coming down like this. All right. And then one last building, and I make, make this one look kind of like a castle with a castle line at the top, okay? And then um, maybe a, a nice door here at the bottom, okay? Because I can actually see it because the brush mobile isn't there. Um, and then maybe this one will have some great big rectangle windows, okay? And maybe even some of them will have some crisscrosses in them. Like I said, you do what you want for your buildings. Mrs. N's going to do what she wants for her buildings. Okay. Um, and then the last thing we want to think about is City Rhapsody up in the sky. Okay. So I'm going to draw a great big moon. And the moon has um, a face in it in the story. So I'm going to think about what kind of face I want in my moon. And then those Vincent van Gogh winds. So I'm going to draw a spiral, maybe two or three Vincent van Gogh winds in the sky, and maybe even some shimmers around that moon, like they talk about in the story. Okay? Um, and I'll have another Vincent van Gogh wind peeking up there. Okay? And then we're done just about. Let's put some lines in our road so we remember it's the road. Okay? Then, boys and girls, we're going to outline everything with a black marker, okay? We're going to look for our black sideways crayon. And after we've outlined with marker, we're going to do the road with that sideways crayon and the sky, um, but not the whole sky, okay? You want to um, have the bright colors like um, our dog in his City Rhapsody. So you want to use a nice, wonderful color for those Van Gogh winds to show, a bright color for your moon. I forgot to ask us to put some stars, so maybe you can even do it with your crayon. Add some stars up in the sky so it looks really beautiful, and your shimmers, and then you're gonna add color, to all of the rest of the color. Make your buildings really colorful, your brush mobile super colorful, um, using your crayons, okay? So, I hope you had fun doing Dogopolis and our dog with us today. Be creative and have fun. Bye.